If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Have you ever flown with a pet? No. It's the worst experience. Awful. I've, had, I've done it with my dog who chewed through his little case. Uh, done it with a cat. Do not suggest it. Also, uh, sometimes the pet costs as much as you do mm-hmm. to fly. Yeah. 150 bucks to put my dog underneath yeah. the seat in front of me. Yeah. we um and, and they have to be under a certain weight, right? To be under. I think it's third or I think it's 30 pounds. They have to be under. Those, yeah, and you also have to fit inside the bag, mm-hmm. which is tough. Yeah, I just, um, George, our friend George just got back and he said that on his flight here, there was a dog uh, next to him and it smelled bad. And that's sad Probably for a five hour flight. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, it can. Yes, certainly can be. Mm, gross. If you, should, if you get the whole aisle for your pet, that'd be great. You know, mm-hmm. I would do that for my dog. Whatever the case, my dog would never hurt a thing, but is stuck inside of that little uh, enclosure uh, it, when we did fly that one time. Well, there was one person trying to get around, spending maybe 100, 150 bucks on that. TSA stopped somebody in Madison, Wisconsin, who sent their backpack through the x ray machine only to have found a dog inside the backpack. Come on, folks. Wow. Now, they they didn't say it outright on the tweet that the TSA sent, but they strongly suggested the pet was being stashed to circumvent the fee, and it wasn't, oh, uh, accidentally, the dog got in my bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, dogs don't act. Like, I could see a cat potentially burrowing in to, like, carry on. or Not a dog. Not a dog. Doesn't happen. Uh, car rental company Hertz is hurting in the wallet. They just spent $168 million to settle a lawsuit with some customers. What was the lawsuit about, you might ask? Well, the company would falsely report cars stolen that were actually being legitimately rented, which led to some customers being wrongfully arrested. One customer was arrested four times, and every time they were in jail, they were in jail for about nine days each time. (laughs) Wow. One of the times, the person suffered a miscarriage. Oh, my gosh. Ridiculous. So, yeah, Hertz is uh, lots of money probably going to that person in particular. But, yeah, what a disaster. Wow. Uh, That's one of my nightmares is that I accidentally uh, have a rental out too long, and then they come for me. Mm -hmm. It's very Mm -hmm. awkward. A 32-year-old woman in Ireland, speaking of awkward, she's learning the hard way. Don't try to be like your favorite influencer. It's not as cool as it looks. Of course, the mother of five won't know what it looks like because she tried to get her eyeballs tattooed purple and blue, and now she's losing her eyesight. Her seven-year-old daughter... Deservingly so. Yeah, well... Come on. Obviously, her seven-year-old daughter was like, um, you shouldn't do that. You might lose your eyesight. But, of course, mommy knew best, and now she's nearly blind. Wow, wow. Sometimes you get to learn a hard lesson. Yep. Finally, one man in Australia, not really in the Christmas spirit, he walked into a government building while smashed this week and attempted to running headbutt a decorative Christmas tree. Security guard tried to stop him, but he broke free and eventually fell on top of the tree. He was arrested and charged. So Good. That's how, that's how that that's how you say uh, Christmas and season's greetings <laughs> yeah. in Australia. <laughs> uh, fosters. Have you ever seen like the size of their actual like Foster's beer there? Like it's almost looks like a keg. Yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. Just one.